So yesterday was day one of two in Walt Disney World and we visited Epcot and I've got the t-shirt to prove it. Nice retro t-shirt around from the era that I was first at Epcot, which is a long time ago. So we had a great day and we did a few things that were still around when I was at Epcot a long time ago. One of them being Captain EO, the 3D Michael Jackson movie that was uh, not much has changed with that, but it was really cool to see that. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And we watched that, and there was a Angelica Houston cameo in it, which as kids we never would have noticed, but we definitely noticed this time around. I thought, is that Angelica Houston in that? And sure enough, it was. Um, it was also great to see Figment, though the ride is very, very dated. And there were a few dated rides there, but then also a bunch of really, really new ones as well. Uh, one that we went to was uh, the Chevy Test Track. Uh, I loved that ride. It was great. You go in, you kind of you, you you put your card on on this machine. You design your own car, and then you when you go into your into the ride, you go into a car, and it it goes it puts the car you designed through all these different sort of like test tests, and you can kind of see how you rank up against other cars that have been designed. It was a lot of fun, and you, the the tests themselves are fun. You go through a lot of you know you know you swerve here and there, you build up a lot of speed, and then at the very end, you really dash and you you go outside of the whole complex and you go on the track. You over sixty miles an hour, which doesn't seem a lot if you drive around, but when you accelerate really quickly and you're outside and it's kind of a convertible. It's actually a lot of fun. We had a great time with the Chevy Test Track. We also had a lot of fun at Mission Space, which is basically one of those big centrifuges where you, you know they, you put, they put you in this pod and they spin you around really fast. But the, you have this screen kind of in your face that makes you feel off like you're taking off into space. So that was so much fun too. We had a great time uh, with that. And we actually rode that twice uh, because we liked that one so much. And there was really not a lot of wait time. It's not very crowded here at all right now. So the wait times are really low and we had a really good time. One of the things I wanted to talk about was a really cool experience. Was a, It was based on Phineas and Ferb, um, a couple of Disney characters that I wasn't even familiar with before I came to Walt Disney World. And it's, about, it's called Agent P's World Showcase Adventure. And the idea is you get a cell phone. It's really literally like a Verizon cell phone. And it gives you instructions on what to do. And it's a bit of a scavenger hunt. You go from one spot to another. And it says, you know, we, we were using it in the in the sort of United Kingdom area of Epcot. And it would say, you know, go to the phone booth and hit OK. And when you go to the phone booth and hit OK, uh, you know, a golf ball will come out. And you got to bring that. And you take the golf ball and it says, OK, bring that golf ball to the sports shop. So you cross the street and you go to the sports shop and find this golf ball analyzer. You put it in and it follows this whole storyline about catching this evil person and this evil mad scientist. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool to kind of have this, uh, you know, cell phone in your hand. And it was creating things, you know, happening in these stores or in the restaurants all around you. It was a fun thing to do. And at the end, you just kind of like drop your cell phone into this uh, like post office uh, mail drop. So that was really cool. It's a simple thing to do and you do it on your own time. And uh, I think there was I, I was probably one of the few adults doing it. Um, a lot of kids really enjoyed that a lot. But I think it was fun to experience how technology when you have something in your hand like a cell phone and it's causing things in the real world to do neat stuff. I think that was a really effective means of interactivity. And I, I really appreciated that experience it also gets you to explore these sort of strange parts of the park where you never would have noticed that there's something there unless you were participating in it. So that was great. Uh, we went to uh, dinner in Germany. We went to the, a great buffet. They had entertainment there. It was really fun. And then we finished off with fireworks. And I thought the fireworks at Epcot were really cool. They did them over the big lake that they had there. And it was timed with lasers and music and all the lights and all the buildings were timed up with it as well, which was actually rather impressive. So it was a great way to end the night. This morning, we're on our way to uh, uh, Magic Kingdom. I'm excited to see what that brings. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get another report in so that you can see it. Maybe I'll be doing it over the weekend so that you can see it on Monday. But um, yeah, it's been a great day at Disney, a great first day at Disney at least. And I'm looking forward to reporting more. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.